Okay, so good afternoon, morning, evening, or night, ladies and gentlemen. Jamie is not very well this episode, so he will be present on the show, as you can see, but he won't be saying anything because he's, he's lost his voice. <laughs> it's it's really tragic. We are have been devastated, and we're really hoping. Put your prayers in chat. Send us postcards. Send send postcards for Jamie to the PO box, and we'll weed them on on the cast to get for Jamie to get better through his uh, struggling mm-hmm. illness. Uh, what? I was just trying to hold back something. What? It's just. It's just a way that they could improve the P.O. box. They could call it something funnier. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think, Jim? <laughs> what could be funnier than... Poo. The poo box. <laughs> Why you look at me pretending that's not gold? None of you reacted, so why would it be cold? <laughs> I'm sorry, but if we're gonna if we're gonna refer to the PO box as the poo box, <laughs> like sorry, I'm not involved in that. <laughs> Jim was saying, <laughs> I can't do that for long. Do what? With you know, hold Parlay. my um, huh? Parlay. I don't know what that word means. <laughs> James does. It's in. Um, I know what parlay means. It's in. Uh, it's in. It's in the Captain Jack Sparrow movie, right? No, it's in Jay Z's album called Four Four Four. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Um, sure. Yeah. Um. Welcome to the Jar Media version. We are really. Shivery. I'm not. Uh, I'm not. You're not. Shiv- shivering. <laughs> You're chivalrous, though. I am chivalrous, I believe. Just like our patrons who make this show possible over at patreon.com. And help fund us and our drug exportation business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And of course, get their wacky names, their wacky patron names, if they're a. It's a Dibby tier, right? Or above. Yeah. Dibby Dibby can someone yeah. come, like, rub my eyeball? I feel like I've got a sty coming. Ooh, Everyone's hmm. always talking about styes, but I, ne- I, don't, I never get them. Touch, Have you uh, ever had a sty? Let me just touch wood a little minute. <laughs> there is literally wood there, close. you f- You can't say that. Say, so, um, nice person. Is you f- lovely person. There's wood right there, and that's more authentic wood than the processed um, table. Yeah. What was I saying? You were saying. I forgot. Yeah. What? Uh, styes. Yeah. Ah yes. Yeah. No styes for me. I guess I got. Have you never that. had one? Don't think so. Are you serious? I get a sty like every week. Really? But what is it though? It's it's, it's just... like a pimple on your eyelid that rubs your eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's it's just like liquid, and it, you can't pop it. Yeah, you just got to. It's wipe just it's, it's just, just like liquid, and you can't. It's pop just it. like a pussy. F- on your eyelid that you can't pop, and they're called a star. But no, but there's there's two different kinds where it's like inside the skin, and then there's some that are like more external that do cause a bigger issue. Is Th- there? There's got to yes. be one jarling out there who's like a sty guy, you know? Yeah, there's all one always comes out of the woodwork when we talk about something <laughs> like. Um, actually, <laughs> I've been studying styes for the yeah. last five years. <laughs> I've been at university studying styology. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here with that! <laughs> no, to be honest, uh, I I retract everything I just said. If you're if you're dedicating a lot of your time to a very specific subject, then your your <laughs> life is worth more than mine. <laughs> Styology. Yeah. If uh, well, yeah. yeah. If you're a styologist, hell, help me out. You know, <laughs> help me out. So I've got one. Well, yeah, we can't help ourselves. Yeah, we need just... you. We need you out there. We do. Like, I can feel it. It's a bit stingy. It's a bit stungy. It's a bit stungy. Yeah. I need to, like I need someone to like get a little bit of like some scissors and just cut it out quickly. But why does the human body do that to you? You get you a bit stressed. Enough. You get a bit stressed. Yeah, and, and you then don't it, like, sleep. Kind so of it's... stabs you in the eye. It's it's supposed to be. It's our body's t- way of telling us we're being f- stupid, and we should sleep really? more. 
Is it a sleep thing? It's like an NG morning light on your eyeball. Yeah, I, I find a lot of stress, um, like, symptoms are really dumb. Yeah, like blood yeah. coming out of your ass. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, that's going to help me relax. <laughs> <laughs> you know, thanks, like, body. <laughs> in reality, it makes the stress so much worse. Because yeah. it's like, oh, no, I need to get fingered. Yeah. Then you think all that's on your mind is stress about being fingered. Yeah, and then you get fingered, and then it's all fine, and there's no, there's no, nothing to stress over. And and then you're like, oh wait, I was stressing about this thing, and then it makes you you shit blood again. Yeah, <laughs> she's just in yeah, a perpetual so, cycle yeah, of shitting cycle blood. Of, of, yeah, yeah, the the blood hole cycle. <laughs> Are you guys essing B quite regularly? Um, it's, as of late, it has been. Yeah. Like over, <laughs> over, <laughs> over, um, over Christmas because it's like it's Christmas, okay? Nobody's eating anything. Well, we're just eating shit and chocolate because that's all. I actually all... um lost weight over Christmas. Yeah, that's good for you, bro. But I'm I'm talking. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, over Christmas it was just like I tried to poo and nothing comes out. But the pack fires coming out of my ass are all blood. The what? Packets the backfires. You know, you, you you do a shit and there's like a, a there's a bit of like <laughs> gas that leaks. Backfire? You know, I've expl- I I talked about this before. <laughs> the, the, like, like when there's when there's oh, why why do we always do this? <laughs> when there's fart stuck behind you poop. poop, yeah. So you <laughs> so then it, oh and then it backfires. Fucking great. But imagine that. But when you wipe, it's just loads of blood. A pound to that. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> no, the good thing about my poop, my 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 essing blood experience, my essing bee experience, <laughs> is that after getting fingered <laughs> once, I know I I I, I s I s b <laughs> when stressed, so I always know it's okay. <laughs> 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 You SB when stressed, <laughs> so you know it's okay. <laughs> so it does relax you. Yeah, it's just like, oh, well, th- this B is not dark, so it's fine. It's like, I know my body now because I do it so regularly. Okay. <laughs> um, let's do it. But no, but saying that, on the, on the positive note of that, if you do SB... Actually, get it checked out. Yeah, do see a doctor. <laughs> do, get no, fingered. No, we're, not, we're not saying now that if, if USB that you should be like glad. <laughs> you should be happy. It's, yeah. it's like a positive. <laughs> oh, thank God, I'm asking B. <laughs> <laughs> like, actually, go to the doctor and get fingered. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And then you can have the experience of being fingered, and it's it's a magical thing. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, just hope you get Dr. Little Hands. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love the fact that, I, you know, being 20 years old, I was fingered. Because it's quite an early age to get a prostate exam. Yeah, I suppose it is. You must have really asked for it. Yeah, you must have been really convincing. <laughs> doc, I really needed this. <laughs> Come on, Doc. <laughs> 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 you were saying? <laughs> um, we've got past the S and B in sections. So we can actually yeah, no like more a- S, no more B. Let's do some housekeeping where we clean up some of those conversations from the previous episode. <laughs> Just got a small handful here. <laughs> um, there was one addressing James's <laughs> insistence on bringing up this lead thing. <laughs> um, do you want me to read this? Oh, yeah, but let, let people be angry at me. Cool. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, James McComb 9525 says, Don't be a dummy, James. Put Gaius on a lead. It only takes one accident for everything to end terribly. If it will keep the dog and other animals safe for little effort on your part, you may as well. Let them off at beaches or such when they need to tire themselves out and explore. Do we want to do we want to talk about this? Because I'm happy to just lay down a few bits of opinion here to clear up my side, you know. Because <laughs> people people are, people are angry. People are angry. People are angry. But what I'm going to say is that people are assuming that he's always off the lead and I'm not sensible. Where I live, it's in the countryside in the middle of nowhere. I'm walking down a road into a field. 
Every dog in this area I know. I know how they react. Any dog that is new, I'm not sure of. I control Gaia so that he's not going to be causing any issue. I avoid them until I know how the dogs react. It's happened recently with another collie. I'm taking the precautions to make sure that there's no harm done to anyone or anything. But I also would say... <laughs> I've also seen comments about how you can't control a dog's instincts, and that's not true. It's <laughs> not true. And I've, I I can control Gaius' instinct because he's he hunts... And, you know, he hunts on my command. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> he hunts on my command, bro. No, it's in because where the field I walk around during <laughs> summer, there's always loads of wild wild rabbits. So what, yeah. what's he going to do when he sees the wild rabbits? Is he going to run after kill. rabbits? He wants to kill, but he waits. <laughs> he waits till I tell him to go kill the rabbits. <laughs> why did you originally bring this up? You knew it was going to annoy people. Yeah, that's why I bring it up, because it annoys people. You get really angry, though, when it annoys people. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, man, th these people are making assumptions about me being a bad owner, so I want to get angry. But yeah, you're making assumptions, like, if you have a dog, you're just naturally doing what's best for everyone, like, subconsciously, because you know your own dog. It's like, generally speaking, I would never, ever, ever let any other breed, any other dog, ever off a lead. And I would say that once you own a collie, where they their whole existence is off the lead, it, it changes things. And I imagine most of these people who are complaining about grass being off a lead, they're not going up in the middle of a city to the person walking their collie off a lead and, and asking them why their collie's off a lead. We've, we've seen it in, in London. We've seen collies... Mm -hmm. Follies following their owner who's not riding through the centre of London and the collie's not on a lead. People aren't going to stop that person to interrogate them about why their collie's off a lead. But, uh, like, so what's... Why do I have to be <laughs> in the countryside where there's nobody and there's no dogs and there's no cars? That's, that's worth con considering. But yeah, I'm a respectful owner. I control guys when, when I have to. <laughs> I just, uh... Hmm. I love that hunt thing. Yeah, no, he he's, he hunts, but it's because where where, because as soon as I knew those rabbits there, it'd be like, oh, when the first like summers I'd walk there, it'd be like, oh, guys, don't don't chase them, no. And ever since then, he will slowly walk up and then wait, so he won't actually start to chase the rabbits until I tell him to, and which has obviously led to him killing wild rabbits. Because he's a little hunter, he's a little... It's a dog-eat-dog world. It is. And it's just like, as soon as I knew he killed it, I was like, I, I told him to stop, and then he stood there and waited. Do you throw the rabbit for him to no. the <laughs> No, that rabbit I buried. You buried it? I'd buried it. Why didn't you bring it home to have a nice rabbit stew? No, because I buried it because... I oh, it, rabbit stew. He punctured... I think he punctured <laughs> the lung. So it was... Oh, it no. was dying, and I, I watched it die. And I felt so much guilt because I commanded him to kill it that I buried it. Out of respect for the, the rabbit. Did you have to, like, put it out of its misery? No, it put itself out of its misery. How did it do that? Because <laughs> it, it so died. Yeah. No, I, yeah, it was, it was <laughs> sad. It was generally like a sad day. Because I told him to go hunt them and he then killed the <laughs> rabbit. So it was like, oh, well, I'm going to bury this rabbit. It was a really, it was a really, it was a tiny one as well. It was so sad. But he kills things. Because he's a collie. Wait, but, but if, if you told him to kill it, then... Yeah, it's my fault. That's why I felt guilt, because I told him to kill it. Yeah, but if you, if you didn't want it to die, then why did you let him kill it? Because I told him to hunt. I gave him the hunting permission, and then he killed the rabbit. Then you felt guilty. Yes. Because it was on my command that he killed the rabbit. Yeah, so... that, that's what I'm saying. Yes. Why it's... did you tell him to... Because he's a collie and he loves it. I'm just I'm just letting him follow his instinct. Oh, right. So so it was kind of like a self-sacrifice thing. Yeah. It was like, fine, guys, kill the rabbit. <laughs> Chase them. Yeah. Get them. I didn't want it to be done. It was you a sad one because it was... Do. This rabbit ran in to the bush because it's along a hedge line. But the, the other rabbits that ran in behind it scared it. So then it ran out into Gaius' path. Yeah. And then I just heard the squeal as Gaius, boom, got it. And it was like, oh... Yeah. I've I've freed a few mice in my time from Billy's from gruff. from where is she? She's somewhere. Yeah, from on the hunt probably. Yeah, well, yeah. Probably when is. when she was <coughs> during her prime hunting days, it was this certain one when when she, she was just messing with it. Like I, I think, um, cats are 
if if you believe in morals, cats are evil. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's just pure. Just... <laughs> what do you mean? Because they, they're not they're not moral or they're immoral. they're programmed to be evil. Like mm. they like to torture. Why did they evolve that way? Like what about? Why well, because they, they were, why were they rewarded from that. Well, it's, it's probably like a brain reward thing. Like causing suffering means I'm winning. <laughs> you know. Well, well, no, at the they're, time they're all like narcissists. Because I think imagine boats like a uh, hundred years ago they had cats on the boats to kill rats. Yeah. So they they have always just been put to work to kill things. So now they just love it. But why specifically that that torture behavior? You know, Cause they like love the whole. <laughs> Should we get a bit pseudosciency with it? Yeah. Yeah. Go on then. Um. Maybe it's their. What's that word that people don't say enough? Dopamine. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. I was, I was... <laughs> no, but there must be some sort of like pleasure response when a cat is hurting something. Mm. And their ears are tuned in to hear squeals. <laughs> That's why you go <laughs> to to call a cat cuz their their ears are tuned in to like <laughs> hear rats talking. Like, <laughs> do you think it's gone yet? <laughs> they can hear the the rat squeaking that. That's dark. And they're like, I ain't gone. <laughs> I'm waiting. Yeah, because this 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 one mouse was like escaping between two bricks, and Billy like <laughs> caught its rear leg with like one claw, and just pulled it back out, like Scar in fucking Lion King. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was just like ding, and I could hear it going. <laughs> <laughs> I can't reach the pitch at the minute because I'm a little bit congested, but mm. yeah, it was squealing, and I was like, no, I. It's it's so unnecessary. You, yeah, that's so you just have three geal beal. <laughs> you know? You've had three geal. <laughs> She's just like <laughs> slaughtered, like torturing this this rat yeah. in the most horrifyingly sadistic way. Yeah, because you just know as well. If I'd have like just gone to bed that next morning, there'd be like a rat brain yeah. or a mouse brain. Sorry, I wouldn't say a rat. Mm-hmm. Like or half. Oh, it's perfectly halved. And yeah, one half. I don't know how there. she did it, but she she was surgical. No, yeah, I've seen the. We obviously will never. Nobody will ever see these images, but I've seen the the various images of the things she's done, and it is like there's a level to this where it's not. There's nothing going on besides pure enjoyment of mutilating yeah. Yeah, so animals. Yeah, like how yeah. how can she perfectly do what she's done? I don't know. She's like a, a, a psycho artist with that stuff. <laughs> it's really impressive. Well, speaking of psycho artist, Gay for Bray 5693 said, Nah, Imagine Dragons isn't that bad. It's just like this decade's Nickelback. You have to say to that. I disagree. Uh, Nickelback's Nickelback, better. Nickelback made a few really good bangers. Yeah. Yeah. Spider Man. And they've actually got good memes. Like, what memes do people have out of Imagine Dragons that aren't taking the piss out of Imagine Dragons? Yeah. I mean, what Imagine Dragons memes are there? Yeah, the meme that they're, they're, they're shit. Yeah, like, it, you can say it's a meme that they're shit, but, like, you, you don't get, like, look at this photograph. Like, yeah. There's nothing you can do with Imagine Dragons music because it's... So... Empty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Soulless. I remember there being some good, like, lyrics in Nickelback. Yeah. Songs. Whereas, I like, mean, the lyrics in Imagine Dragons songs are hilarious. Oh, cutthroat. Oh. It's it's it, it, it's platitude music, mm. yeah, that that plat music. Yeah. I just feel like three times platinum music. <laughs> it's, this is probably going to upset people, but it's like the Taylor Swift circles and the Imagine Dragon circles aren't that far apart. Sheesh, what's happened to you? <laughs> yeah, I thought you were calm, James. One eighty much? <laughs> yeah. What? You I... you were like Taylor Swift's number one <laughs> millionth fan. No. For a while. No. Taylor Swift has one good song and it's the one I've sh- I've sang. She became a billionaire, bro. That's what happened. Yeah, yeah and people are like, yeah, she she's done it. No, because it's like, yeah, I'm no, because the Charlie XCX exists. So in the pop realm, I'm not going to listen to Taylor Swift. That's that's the T. I hate what all of them represent. What? What do they represent? Mainstream music. What what do, what do what they, do they represent? represent? Cheekiness. Um, no, the opposite of cheekiness. 
fakeness. Yeah. Is that the opposite of cheekiness? No, probably not. <laughs> Politeness? I wouldn't say insincere. No. Che- cheeky is like fun, mm. you know? Being cheeky isn't a bad thing. It can be, though. If you take cheekiness too far, but mm-hmm. I'd, I'd say that's more just like being annoying. Cheekiness too far become annoying is what you're saying. I'm saying, like, if we're, if we're talking like a spectrum and cheeky's on there, you go... Cheeky spectrum. Yeah, so let's say, like, there's normal. Then, <laughs> in the then middle? there's cheeky. Wait, in the middle or on the side? In the middle. Normal's in the middle. Okay. And then cheeky's to the right. And then in annoying. Like a circle? No, it's a line. Oh. <laughs> oh okay. Shall I continue? Normal in the middle. Yeah. Cheeky first notch on the right. Yeah. Annoying second notch on the right. So that's like maxed out. Right. You head in that direction, <laughs> you go cheeky and like everything up till cheeky is fun. Mm. We enjoy cheeky. But you go beyond cheeky and people aren't enjoying that like Where, where's farcical energy in there? Farcical? I yeah. guess that would be like between cheeky and annoying. Um so what would be in the other direction of annoying? Pleasant. Nice. But if yeah, nice. But if you <laughs> keep going in that direction, you get boring. <laughs> Does boring come after nice? Yeah. Pleasant. If you go beyond pleasant and like you're too too pleasant, you're too normal. No, cuz that would be like up. Ah. Feel too normal. That'll be up in the middle. So just keep going left. Yeah, keep going left, and you get boring. Yeah, yeah. But you've got no spice to you. You haven't got no edge. Yeah, you've got like nothing. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're just being cordial. It's like going to mm. a, a ball or something. Elderflower cordial. What about mm. if you go up? That's what James was just saying. That's normality. I thought that was middle, not up. No yeah, middle. Mega normal, boring. <laughs> nothing going on, like nothing. Normal times like, yeah, I guess normal up would be nothing. And and then normal <laughs> down would be everything. <laughs> so that's like, it's like the political spectrum thing. Mm. You know? So like where that. are you? Um, I'm like bottom left. But not too far left. Like kind I'm of- gonna, I'm probably max out left. But you were boring. And, and up a little bit. You give yourself no credit, bro. No, I'm a bit, bit normal, I think. You're and not normal. I, I'm rather pleasant, I'd say. So, no, but you said, you said you're max out left, which means you're boring. Yeah. Dude, I like Metal Gear. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is like so <laughs> not there. Is that pleasantly normal? No. It's yeah. unpleasantly chaotic. No, I'd say it's boringly over normal. <laughs> times two. Boring normal times two. Overly. Yeah. My eyes keep blurring and I just don't know what I'm looking at. <laughs> you're, you're just entering like a zonk zone and you're just... Well, because like, the nose fills up with debris. <laughs> and, then, and then brain is like, time to sneeze. And then my eyes are like, no. <laughs> so just water comes out of them and then I yeah, can't see I anything. <laughs> You're sneezing through your mm. eyeballs. Yeah, I guess. The same, like, juices coming out, maybe. <coughs> but yeah, I had a weird experience the other day. Explain. Go on. Um, I, it, it was late, right? Um, and for those who don't know, I'm, I am smoking again. Um, I don't, I don't know if I ever mentioned since I last quit, but... Mm. I'd ran out of filters for my... Are you allowed to say the C word? Definitely not allowed to say the F word, but are you allowed <laughs> to say the C word? Cigarettes? Yeah. Well, yes. Cig? Yeah, without getting... What were you yeah, no, cigarettes are okay. Oh. It's called them tobacco sticks. Yeah, my my tobacco sticks. I'd ran out of filters. Yeah. yeah. And it was like 11pm. Oh. Mm. So I was like, only one place is gonna... This was on a Friday night, I think. Oh. And that that place would be open on a Friday night. Yeah, well, I mean, it's it's open um, every night, twenty four hours. 
so I, I'm walking at like 11, half 11 at night mm -hmm. um, to this, this petrol station to get some. And it's a Friday night, so people like have been drinking. Troubles about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and th there's this this girl like slightly in front of me walking really fast and it's like half 11 at night mm. and then she starts like running mm. like running running yeah. clearly drunk and like stumbling into the road and then back onto the path and stuff and i'm like what the hell is is going on here yeah so i keep walking and like sh she's getting further and further away um i'm on a mission to get my my filters <clears throat> I keep going. She's out of sight now. I'm thinking she's probably been hit by a car and is dead now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keep walking. Arrive at the garage. She's stood there at the booth. Right? Buying something. Oh. Turns around. Elf bar. Oh, she was just hankering. She was sprinting to oh. the 24-hour petrol station and th and then she she starts sprinting again oh <laughs> stumbling all over she sprinted there and back to wherever the hell she was going for a, for an elf bar well we've got to make the most of them while they're still around i suppose that's true they're being banned soon good ban it but i mean Get like, do, do you think they're worth running for no an elf no. bar if like, you're that addicted i guess but I mean, like, I'm addicted to the the same substance. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I I had no cigarettes. But I'm like, I'm going to just walk. Like, I'm going to get it. Maybe she's trying to get extra steps in or something. Maybe. Maybe. Got I'm, to get my pedometer out. I just thought it, it... You know those, like, man thoughts where it's, like, late at night and you're walking and then there's, like, a... A girl running in the opposite direction to uh -huh. me. And I'm, I'm wearing like this and it's cold so I've got my hood up and stuff. I'm, I was just thinking like, what if someone turns around and fucking... Like, mm. what, 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 what are you doing? doing? And yeah. just starts attacking me. I hear you. So I'm just, I'm just trying to get my cigarettes, man. I, yeah. just, I just need my hit. Yeah, and she just wants her elf bow. Now, speaking of hits off at a, a delicious elf bar, I got my, a hit of my own. By um, featuring in an Angry Joe video. I heard about this. You heard about this, did you? I did. Um, I guess annually Angry Joe does his disappointing games of the year lists. And he uh, he featured my Destiny video in his uh, segment on Destiny. Did he, he like, did he feature you like... Like me speaking and stuff. Really? Yeah. Let's go, Angry Joe. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. He, he's always been a friend of the show, Angry Joe. Yes, yeah. Replying to Twitter threads. Yeah. Giving his opinion on beans. Yeah, honestly, the best. Th that is the most important thing in Jar Legacy is that Angry Joe talked about beans on Twitter yeah. to us. Oh. He but, expressed uh, his uh, hatred he, for them. When his video. With that, when that section began, I was concerned at first because it was, it was using my, my video like verbatim, and I knew it was like things I'd edited because of just certain things um, that I know were in there. Um, but then, yeah, it does transition into showing the actual video and showing different reviews or whatever, which is cool. So shout out to Joe, baby. Thank you, Angry Joe. Keeping it real out there. Keeping it angry. He does keep it angry. Keeping it, it pretty mad. Good, good job of keeping it angry. Um, did you guys want to do any any other major thing before we go into the break and some? Well, you know, what I do some questions. I would love to talk about near automata. Yeah. Yeah, because. Uh, a game that came out seven years ago now. Seven years this year that game seven came out. Years. Um, and I finally got around to playing it and finishing it. And I don't think a game has ever affected me the way that game has. Did it make you bring a tear to your eye? Many. Like, that game was painful. Really? Like, shockingly painful. It hurt. 
Like the the funny thing is like with this game, for a game that is so famous, like everyone knows two B, everyone knows mm-hmm. of Neo Autom- Automata, never had it spoiled for me. No nothing about yeah. it was ever spoiled. Like the way I found it and I've I've talked to you guys about it is the way that I perceived this game and what I perceived this game was completely wrong. It's mm-hmm. not that at all. Because it's you know, I've seen the donkey video where he's focusing on all these cute funny things. What did you think it was? I thought it was that. I thought it was this kind of thing that a game that's trying to, you know, make you question humanity. Mm. And then, oh, it does so much more than that. It goes even deeper. And it's like you, I see it as two games. Neil Automata is not one game, it's two games. You've got the first half and you've got the second half. Mm. And that first half just makes you question. Then on that second playthrough, you're like, oh, there's more here. Once it gets to that second half, it's like... <sighs> So the second half begins after your second playthrough. The second playthrough, the second playthrough of the first half ends, and it, it like I've never seen a game designed better. Like the way this game is designed is some of the best like example of artistry in games. Like I can't explain, but the final, the final like hour, is like Chef's Kiss, the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Wow! Like it's genuinely intense and the soundtrack is stunning visually it's stunning it's got that kind of fucked up like um design to it like mm-hmm. this is like horror this is like horror beyond my comp- comprehension like level of artistic visual visual oh, shout out to and it, it huh? is i would recommend it to anyone especially if you've not had it spoiled because that shit will hit and it's like yeah, all i can say little about it all I can say to the people who play it is that on my first, last playthrough and I was going to finish the game, I started with the Pearl Harbor logs, then found the crashed flight suit, soul box, god box, then the tower. And that, that for people who've played it, they know that that's pain. That's some level <laughs> of like horrific fucking like, you're going to cry and you're going to feel shit and you're going to love it. Well, okay. I would uh, definitely recommend New Automata. It is Chef's Kiss, the best game I've ever played. It's, it's been on my wish list for about five years. But, but gameplay wise, it's really fun, really fun hack and slash. It's just the the animations and the movement. It's all so beautifully elegant that you just love it. But it's also like a bullet hell game. And the way it mixes genres and the way they the artistry in it is perfect. It's great. Play yeah, it, I'll get please. To it someday. And I and I, I mention this specifically because I'm actually seeing the. The soundtrack played by an orchestra in London mm. at the North Bank, uh, South yeah, Bank Centre. Cool. So yeah, I'm going to mention that in a few weeks. It's good to say now that I have played the game and it is uh, yeah. going to loop back to it. Yeah, play it, please. Hell yeah. Jim? I just want to shout out um, the Mad Max game. Cause <laughs> it's kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. And on that note, we'll see you after these messages. <laughs> yeah. Bye, bear, bear. Bye, bear, bear. I do declare, yeah. bye, bear, bear. <laughs> <laughs> bear, bear shirts and mug available now. Check the description below. Yeah. If you get thirsty and there is no water around you, don't eat snow. Let it melt, then drink it. What do you think? I normally like to let my urine freeze twice before I drink it. Is that what you're I'll supposed to? I'll get my urine frozen twice, not bloody anything else. <laughs> I'm more of a frozen three times type of one. <laughs> <laughs> Is James Bond just like, just out of date? Uh, yeah. I think he's, Come um... here, dearie. Give me a little... Hey there, slut. Give it, give it a <laughs> shake. Don't stir it. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, he's a scumbag. <laughs> he's mega outdated. No, I'm I think I want to be him literally. I want to be him. You want to withhold toxic masculinity, do you? No, I want to drive submarine cars. Yeah, with a a mega hot babe. In the, the hot babe. Octo pussy. Yeah. <laughs> you want octo pussies. <laughs> I don't stick to Uno pussy. I'm more of an Octo <laughs> pussy type of guy. <laughs> Wait, what is he? 
What's the point? Um, he's a he's a rich asshole with a raging boner. I've sort of got a license to kill, kind of thing. And to bang whores. <laughs> a license to bang whores. Yeah, he's he's um. <laughs> Oh, there you go. <laughs> Fucking slow that dumpy down. <laughs> Sorry. Just talking about having a license to bang a whore or two, baby. A whore? Yes. Or a prostitute. You know, James Bond. He wasn't banging prostitutes, bro. Yes, he was. <laughs> <laughs> Rich James Bond. All of them. And he had a license to kill. So no, yeah, they weren't prostitutes. They weren't. They were. They I'm were not his. Paying for this. <laughs> No, they were not, not funny. Actually, <laughs> they weren't. They they were part of the ploy to get the state secrets he was after. You know, it's not prostitutes or whores. So they deserve to be killed. He didn't kill them. No, okay. his enemies okay, killed no, them. Can, canonically. Oh, what? I just had a funny hiccup. That's all. Oh. <laughs> no, canonically, every James oh Bond, God. every James Bond, when he retires. What is he doing? Where's he going? Nevada. Why? <laughs> Nevada, um, the the fucking one in Europe. No, no, why? Weed. If you're James Bond, why are you gonna go to fucking Nevada? Nevada, what's the one in Europe? They'd the, all go to Monte Carlo. I don't even know what where are you that is. About? Monaco. What? If you're if you're a spy who's MI six, bro. Why are you going to waste no, your you... time going to Nevada? No, Nevada, the what? Uh, why can't I... <coughs> we were going to go there, then COVID happened. Amsterdam. 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 Are you talking about weed, um, or are you talking about casinos? What's happening in Amsterdam? I'm, I'm talking about legal prostitution. They, it's James Bond, Brothel. you don't need, you oh. don't need legal prostitution. I'm saying when he retires. What? He's James Bond. He needs the license to kill. As if he's not going to be already married. Yeah, but once his license the... is taken, he's, he's not, that man is not getting married. True, he's, yeah, you can't. He's a psychopath. Yeah, yeah, you're like, actually, yeah. But surely it'd be... No marriage for Bond? Here's my take, we need a gay James Bond. Yeah, Daniel Craig. Bring him back, make him gay. No, 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 the the whites would not have, they would not be okay with that. Their, 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 their masculine role model is cannot be gay. Their masculine role model has to be an asshole. James Bond's not an asshole. Yeah, he is. Um, no, he's not. He's a really affectionate, loving man. He just manipulates everyone he's ever been in t contact with. Yeah. <coughs> he's like it. No, I'm not getting into this. He's like if what? Lover boy, sort of. He's not a lover boy. He is a he is a lover. Why is do you have the hiccups? I don't know. I've, I'm just stuck with the hiccups now. Oh, on the subject of a psycho, here <laughs> she is, Billy. Psycho Billy, Casca say, far 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 far. Look, far, that's far, the far, face far, of far, that is far, the face far, of far, of far, a far, being far, that far, likes far, to far. slaughter and kill it. That's Billy Bond right there. Billy Bond. She's. That's what pair bond means. Pair bond bond. Pair bond bit. Real, <laughs> is it a bit strange that I'm sat like this, facing you guys, but away from the camera? Yeah, why do you, how do you think I think when I sit there? You always choose to sit here and never let me sit here. Well, no, I'm, I'm sitting here now. Suck it. I like having the corner because it's by the light, so I get extra warm. It's like toasting me. It's, it's the light that turned me off. Because my eye... <laughs> you see exactly. Bishop to fuck fire. Okay, so good afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was waiting. Uh, waiting for what? The hiccups. Oh my god, okay. stop using your hiccups. Yeah, as let's an keep excuse, going about James man. Bond. Still then. Going. Do you know what? Try Casino think... Royale is the best James Bond movie. Casino Royale rocks. Because I've seen it recently and it's like, man, this movie is 10 out of 10. It's yeah. a fucking great It's fire thing. as hell. It's, it's fire really as cool. fuck. <clears throat> and then it got followed up by Quantum of Solace. Yeah. Which has some good parts in it, but otherwise, <coughs> quite a letdown. And then the rest are kind of shit it's, as well. It's got maybe one quarter of one good part and the rest is the, the rest of the whole movie is trash. 
Weren't you um, contrarian in Quantum of Solace? Recently? I didn't think it was that bad. It still has that it's same really good bad. quality. of. It just it, doesn't nah, have the writing the, the, quality. The whole, like, opening. Like, it's shot, like... Just sit and watch it and try and explain what is happening. I can explain it pretty well. Three Alpha Moe's, black, chasing an <laughs> Aston Martin no, but, yeah, yeah. in the hills of Italy. God. He, he and, it, like, the, the car chase is filmed terribly. It, yeah, it's not, it's not, not a good it car looks, chase. It looks awful. Not when you have the ch- car it's, chase of Casino Royale as well. It's like, yeah. you're, you're following that, come on. Yeah, it's like choppy as hell, the action sucks. The plot is is the plot of like Rango, but worse. Um, Rango. Yeah, control the water, control the people. It's like the same plot, but Rango's fire. I keep getting Rango in my YouTube shorts. Good. I don't know why. Johnny Depp though can't like him anymore. <laughs> you can. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but no, I I think the Casino Royale especially is a is a fucking great film, and you should definitely watch it again because the casino the casino scenes are like, ooh, good. Yeah, they're they're very entertaining, and James Bond actually does like fall in love in that one, and then he, he kills does. her. Yeah. When are they gonna remake it, Battle Royale? That really remake, is a remake. Thing. Oh, is James Bond in Fortnite? How can he? What do you mean, how can he? John oh, Wick just... is in Fortnite, isn't he? Yeah. Yes, two versions That's of like John the Wick. the same thing. You know? Just remove the beard. Well, you've got you've got Raiden without a cock in there. Raiden without a cock? Yeah, Raiden in, in the... Because obviously it's Metal Gear Solid 2, Raiden. Yeah. Or M- yeah. Obviously he has he has bulge in that. He's, he's, he's been de in Fortnite. He... They should have the skin from Metal Gear Solid 2 when Raiden gets tortured and stripped naked. <laughs> and then he runs around covering his crotch. Yeah, because he's got such a huge cock in that game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's he has got to... a fat wang. <laughs> so he a runs around cock. hiding his, his penis from the guards. <laughs> so it's like double stealth. You've got to hide from the guards and you've got to hide your penis. <laughs> that game's crazy. That game's there. so good. You guys want to play Metal talk Gear about Metal this? Gear? It just sounds like you're just making something up to try and trick me, but they're always true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's also the game where they introduced the gay vampire, vamp. Yeah, vamp, the gay vampire, <laughs> or the bi vampire. <coughs> he might be asexual. Bi pyre. Yeah. He's just very um Bipe. flirtatious, I guess. Pervert. Slutty. Yeah, yeah the pervert vampire would be the best <laughs> description. A bit slutty. He is a bit slutty. Well, so there's there's uh, the bomb, the bomber guy. Bomber? Like, yeah, what's he called? Uh, I think he's called Fat Man after the nuke. Yeah. Oh, right. He's called Fat Man and he, he skates around on rollerblades making bombs. In which one? Like a solid two. The same one where Raiden's cock is out. <laughs> all real. <laughs> it's also where you learn that Otacon's father <laughs> killed himself because his wife cheated on him with Otacon, his son. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's dark. It's dark as hell. And, How um, does she not know? How do- and Otacon explains this to his half-sister because her mother cheated on their father with him as she's dying. And her nickname is E.E. because her name is Emma Emmerich. What do you mean as she's dying? His sister is dying. And he's like, I'm sorry, the reason Dad killed himself is because I slept with your (laughs) mum. Oh. (laughs) And, um... And then her nickname is E.E. E. And as she dies, she says, you know, I always hated it when you called me E.E. E. <laughs> and the whole game, he's been calling her E.E. E. And then she dies. <laughs> what the and, fuck? and like her pet parrot is there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. On the uh, Otacon's shoulder. Yeah. Your hookup's gone, yeah? And that Otacon's <laughs> father is the one in Phantom Pain. Yeah. 
And then that's... And Otacon is the meme one, the the anime is, uh Yeah, who pesses himself when, when you first meet him in Metal Gear Solid 1. Because he's a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I think I'm just going to have to try and brave with the hiccups. Or scare. Or just don't, we can finish recording. Thank you for watching this episode. Alex has <laughs> got the heck up. So yeah, I'm literally got, watching this got, episode of Metal Gear Solid. Ones. I really wanted um, to know a couple of these. Are there any Metal Gear questions? Yes. Oh. We, uh, we're only answering them. Me and Jamie in Metal no, Gear listen. mode. Um, here's, here's the challenge, though. Every time you ask a question and you heck up, you have to start from the beginning of the question. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Dibby Collector says, uh, Hey, guys, do you think that you can survive a whale swallowing you? Like from Pinocchio? No, I just kill myself in the process. Um, I'd survive, but I've got such like a, a fear of vor. <laughs> I oh, it's poor boy, it's poor baby, scared of vor. I feel like yes. there's there's enough of an ecosystem inside a whale to survive. But I feel like I'd be so creeped out by the concept of being in a big mouth. <laughs> you know, being vored and surviving. There's something very wrong you, about that. Well, you're gonna die, so you might as well die. But it's not well like die. it's got big teeth, which makes it like it's got big brushes. <laughs> yeah, but that's freaky. You're stuck in there. Yeah, but you're gonna die. You can go out through the blowhole. Why blow are you hole. gonna die? Why would you not die? Where are you gonna get out? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> out my mouth. Yeah, you'd make it hiccup. <laughs> diggle, diggle, diggle. <laughs> no, I just um. Oh, I, <laughs> I just uh, end it. Like, what's the point? You, you, th there's no point being inside the whale. No, you can live in it, and where, and do what? Live. How, how, how many people have had the perspective of living in a whale for the rest of their life? Is that not valuable? No, because they get bored after a day. <laughs> no. No, but you're having to survive. You're like ancient man again. Every day is a struggle. You don't have time to be bored. You gotta, you gotta like craft a fishing rod, and fish in its mouth. And then it'll eat a shark. And then I'm living with a shark. Maybe, but the shark's gonna be like, shit. I'm in here too. Yeah, we but better it's... team up. Yeah, but I'm his, I'm its food. It can eat for, me. Yeah, but it can eat you for one day and then starve. Because a, a a shark isn't gonna know how to fish. Maybe it can help you fish. Can't fish on his own. <laughs> <laughs> Inside a whale. Yeah. <laughs> Blue no. whales are big. They're enormous. They're ridiculously huge. Nah, I'm not living inside a blue whale. I'd try my best, but I'd get frightened. <laughs> R slash Jow Media has this one for James. Does James fuck with avocados? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're the paste I use in my flashlights. <laughs> Green slime. Let's see paste them, baby. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, I gave you a comedic answer to your silly <laughs> question, okay? Don't don't hate me. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Oh, um an obvious humor. Six six three six. Uh I get do I have to say it again. Obvious humor three six six. Can we hear more of James's parents' terrible taste in media? He mentioned mentioned their love for Keith Lemon before, and Imagine Dragons in the last cast, but we need to hear more. Um, like it gets to a point when you become desensitized to it, so I don't know what their shit opinions are. But I know my mother's addicted to the TV and only watch exclusively shit American daytime TV. Like what? So like clearly, there's like no intelligent appreciation for media there. What's their, like, favourite movies? I don't know. What, what's one that you've seen them watching more than once? I, I couldn't even say. But they like... It's like any time there's a movie, it's like, yeah, it's just a bit crap. It's like so generic and just like yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Those movies. What about... Like, what's um, that movie you watched recently? By Guy Ritchie. We, the Covenant. The Covenant. Th th it's, that's the type of shit they like and they think is amazing. Yeah. That's a good example. What about uh, what about uh, music? Well, my my dad my dad loves the eighties. Huh. So Normal. Like new order. And it's like you know yeah you 
sure there's a few duds in there but you know there's some bangers in there so I can't criticize but then my mum likes Imagine Dragons and it's like oh, yeah ew um, but else? then like food and I've seen the question about media but it's like the best way to describe some of my parents is that it has to be beige yeah British beige yeah that's 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 Greg's they, they fucking love Greg's like they don't like they will complain if they go to a nice restaurant and complain it's too flavorful <laughs> 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 like you can take them to you can take them to the <laughs> nicest spot but then they'll be like oh I had to go to Greg's on the way home to actually get food that made me actually f- <clears throat> fill me up yeah it's that, like that yeah. had a various colours on the plate yeah do they like red notice well no they leech they yes <laughs> yes but they also love Waitrose um Weatherspoon we- Weatherspoon's food they think Weatherspoon's uh-huh. food is amazing it's like that right. shit comes out of a microwave. Yeah. That shit sucks. Yeah. It's like, nah, That's I can't nice. talk to you about anything because you literally <laughs> think that. Opinion invalidated. It's so do you, true. Do you think your parents, like, watched the Snyder Cut? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they have. I'm pretty sure they have, and I think <laughs> they liked it. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> No, that seriously, I saw them wrong. watching the shit Suicide Squad recently within the last few months, yeah, and they obviously, that, yeah. obviously they love that. <laughs> Everyone loves that one. A lot of people do. Mm. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yeah, that movie sucks. I like the music, though. It's really fire. Um, Artistic Grass 964 says, Alex, Alex should get his hair even longer, like down really far. Poor lad's been living the dream far too long. I agree. What does that mean? That's it. That's, That's not a question. It's just either. like a threat. Like what yeah, is it? and you deserve to be threatened. Yeah, what does that? What, what does that mean though? You've been <laughs> living the dream, <laughs> the curly hair dream. But what? What does it mean? How would it? How would I suffer from it? It gets even longer, like down, down really far. You got to restart the question because you. <laughs> well, I think what they're saying is that <laughs> it's not even a question. What are they saying? I I. Can... <laughs> I don't know. It's scary, though. I can't translate for them. They can have to reword their question a little bit better. It's not a question. It's a statement. I think they want Alex to have an emo hair. Ar- ar- well, speaking mm. of emo hair... Well, actually, speaking of Red Notice, weirdly... <laughs> uh, Lucia io 1111 says... In a lot of, like, a lot, a lot of casts that... <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Just read the question. Just read the question. Bro. <laughs> there have been oddly recurring discussions about this property called Red Notice. What are James's thoughts on this property now? Now that he's had his movie awakening, and could you talk about it a little more? Thanks. Well, I I had a beautiful, lovely time with Jamie watching Red Notice. It was a fun. <laughs> it was. It was a fun watching experience because it was so fucking shit. The film it was is, hilarious. It was funny because <laughs> it was just so bad. So I, I have a good, ex- I have a good nostalgia for watching that movie, but I know the movie is absolute dog shit. So, I love that twist. I uh, naturally, even being half as intelligent, even like appreciating film in the way I am now, like yeah, that that film's dog shit. It's not that bad. Ryan Reynolds, funny. He's funny in that movie. When's the sequel coming up? <laughs> Soon. I, I want to watch the Kevin Hart um, heist movie. That looks fine. <laughs> Very much the same vein. Man, I hate these hiccups, man. When's, you need to suck. Well, just suck. Learn, you learn need to, to suck them. upside down. No, no, upside down. Like the whale, you just got to learn to live. There is there is a, a hack that we might be able to utilize. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plug your nose with your little fingers. Oh. <laughs> Not in like that. Oh. And then plug your ear holes with your thumbs and then swallow. And keep swallowing. How am I supposed to breathe? <laughs> keep swallowing. You're supposed to not you're not supposed to breathe, idiot. <laughs> I think it's worked. I think it's done it. 
Hooray! <laughs> See, a little. I just taught everybody a little thing. Just. Uh. Uh. Nah, it wasn't real. Uh. <sighs> wow, it's nice to be normal again. Well, J Stereo says this. <laughs> Do the. <laughs> Do the Jar Boys have any immediate thoughts on Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League? And what do they make of the discourse over how Batman allegedly gets sent off on account of it supposedly being supposedly being Conroy's final spin as the character? I mean, um, it's got nothing to do with the Batman Arkham games. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty pathetic... <laughs> it looks awful. Yeah. It's a, p a pathetic. Why do they even it. delay it again? You know that final delay. Like, what did they actually do in that time? Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, like, what did the game look like before that delay? That made them panic enough to be like, "Oh, we got to add time to this." And yeah. then when they release it, it still looks the way it does. And, and then it came out for the people who paid extra for the early version of the game, <laughs> and then they had to take it offline twice. Yeah. Like, it kind of speaks for itself, you know? No, they weren't sending out review <laughs> codes to anyone. Do you think it was, like, an ambition thing? It's almost like the opposite of ambition. What is that anti-ambition? Ambition. Ambition. Yeah. Complacency. Anti-ambition. Yeah, because it's like, what, the, the thing they were chasing is so old now that the original purveyors of that are now struggling themselves in keeping it going. Be that Destiny, be that Apex, be that... Yeah, yeah. But I'm, I'm thinking, like, they finished making Arkham Knight. They probably yeah. started relatively soon after development on Suicide Squad. Yeah. It wouldn't have looked the same that whole time. No, you know this this Destiny thing probably. Uh, like after Destiny started making moo moo money, mm -hmm. they were like, okay, let's copy this thing. Um, <laughs> so were they really ambitious at first? And they were like, let's make this crazy ass game where you're like killing the Justice League, and it's gonna be this giant open <laughs> world. It can be like co op and stuff. We have all these unique heroes, and then the game just like. Going down one path and they're like, shit, this doesn't work. And then they're going down another path, shit, this doesn't work. And then it's it's a case where like they've kind of built some mechanics and then they're like, Well, we yeah. gotta we gotta turn it into something now. Yeah, just I just look at it and I'm like, who's this for? Yeah. You know? It's it's for people who like the just the Suicide Squad movie, that first Suicide Squad movie. <laughs> yeah, that's what it does yeah. seem. Hey, Billy, don't drink others. Billy. Do it. Billy, do it. Billy, do it. Billy. Billy, do it. Hell. <laughs> what the hell? I can't believe she listened. Gosh, Billy drinking others has really thrown me off. Yeah, what were we talking about? How good Batman Arkham Knight is. That's a cool game. No, I think it's cool. Um, sliding around the city as Joker. Yeah, with like an umbrella or something to fly around on. Hello, I'm the Joker and I'm on my umbrella. Let's take out some goons. I just think it's so stupid when like... I think the idea of the Suicide Squad is dumb. Yeah, it's like goofy as hell. Yeah, and I'm fine with goofy, but when it's like... Harley Quinn. Your team is Harley Quinn. Yeah. A boomerang guy. I thought the point was that it's supposed to be B-listers, but Harley Quinn is an A-lister. Yeah. But Defuse also... The point. Why Why do they always have to be... I, I think the, the Suicide Squad James Gunn made made more sense, where it was like the... The mission they're sent on isn't like a, an Avengers-level threat. Yeah. You know, it's like, go destroy this evidence. Mm -hmm. Because we're we're scummy, shady as fuck, yeah, like yeah. government agency. Hey. Why, like in the first Suicide Squad movie and in this game, it's like send the Suicide Squad to um beat Superman in a fight. <laughs> it's like well, you're you, canonically, it doesn't make sense. You know, you've set <laughs> up rules for this universe, and you're having a, a 
an insane person dressed as a clown fight an invincible guy? <laughs> How's that gonna go? You know? It's lazy. What's the it's point weird, of rules? It's nearly a decade. <laughs> nearly a decade since Arkham Knight. I know. And that, this is what comes out as the follow-up. It's just so incredibly lame. Yeah, and it's, like, meant to be in the same universe. Mm -hmm. And, like, Harley Quinn is always a joke in that universe. Yeah. She's, like, useless. It's the only thing that made her, like, bearable was, like, she's still quite annoying. But the joke is that she's out of the picture quite quickly, right? Yeah, uh, there's there's Batman. that bit in, in Arkham City where, like, he's he's tied her up because she's more of, like, a problem for her to be around. Mm -hmm. She's going to interfere with the plan. She's going to make life harder. Yeah. You know? So it, it doesn't even seem to follow the those laws that they've set up, like, mm -hmm. that character. And it's like... Man, all of this seems so late. Did you see the Insomniac leaks with basically the next 20 years of what they're making at that studio being Like confirmed. Marvel stuff? And it's, yeah, it's mostly just like Marvel games. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Forever. Yeah, so they've just become the Marvel studio. <laughs> yeah. Which, I mean, is, is pretty wise. You know, they, they killed the hell out of Spider-Man 1. I guess. Yeah. <coughs> right, let's do a couple more dingles here before we wrap this up. Sorry um, for my nerd rage, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Our girl number two says, Need James to tell me what a good starter car is for a new driver. Hmm? Toy Harris. Hey. Uh, uh, gen <laughs> genuinely, Toy Toy Harris. Anything small, Renault economical. Clear. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> no, I'd always say to it, yeah, it's because while they're a bit rusty, they are extremely cheap. They, t they, you can abuse the hell out of them, and they work. They're just pinnacles of engineering. They're fun. They're silly, and they're really reliable. Buy a toy, yeah, it's a really early toy, yeah. Okay. Buy a Yaris. We, I, I, agree. I sold ours. I sold, I sold Jamie's on behalf of him, and we regret it. <laughs> Genuinely. Yeah, like, it actually regret it. Really solid as hell car. Great car. <laughs> you know, you put you put the fed, the pedal down. And it moves. It goes forward. Yep. Yeah, sometimes it goes backwards if you want it to. What more can you ask? Perfect car. Well, I have one more thing to ask you, boys. You have a sense of you? Bacon or dinosaurs? Bacon. In terms of... You're choosing what the last question is. Bacon. Oh. Um. Bacon. I don't really mind. Like I'm, I'm you happy. Need to pick one. No, you pick. No, but, but that'll do, that's I'll decide and then pick the the one he wants. Well, he what, wants if, what if I say dinosaurs then? He's going to be dinosaurs because he's picked. Then dinosaurs. I probably will read the dinosaur one. Yes. Okay. Whereas if you say bacon, then it will be the bacon one. Bacon. You know, don't you just do both? Because I like I really don't want to regret my choice. <laughs> I'm gonna say bacon. <laughs> Good, yes, from it. <laughs> Fine, bacon. Yep. Gaza batter. How do you like your bacon? I've always assumed everyone likes crispy bacon, and I was horrified when I found out that the rest of my family members like soft, floppy bacon. Bacon isn't bacon if it doesn't have some crisp to it. I'm not saying it has to be Viagra hard. But it should be illegal to eat bacon that you can't, that you can roll up. I haven't talked to my family since I found out. Should I cut ties with them for good? Um, watch, watch the previous episode. Yeah, we've talked about this. Yeah, we had a, a long debate over bacon, so watch that. Thank you for watching this episode of John Wick Podcast. <laughs> well, we'll catch you next time. How do you like your bacon? I don't think you ever said in the big conversation. It was mostly me and James arguing. I like it, sort of. <laughs> Contrarian Alex can't have an opinion. Yeah. We are going to be saying some controversial things. Yep. 
This is the Coochie Sting episode. <laughs> coochie Sting? Yeah. Are we saying a coochie that stings or a coochie that has been stung? It's like dogs when they get, you know, and dogs bite a bee and they just like inflate. <laughs> kind of like I was that. thinking, I was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when dogs do that thing where they like pull themselves across yeah, the floor because yeah. they got a little sting. Onto their asshole. The booty sting. Yeah. I saw Pose do that for the first time. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, in that's the, one of the, the best ice. things about having a dog. I wish yeah. cats would do that because I think it would look cooler. I've never, I, I, none of my dogs have ever done the proper booty sting. Flossie used to do the booty sting. <laughs> Flossie was a booty, it booty sting. Huh? What are you calling it? The booty sting? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, you established this right at the beginning. That's what you said, even. No. I think it was. This is episode 363, A Paradox. <laughs> no, this is, this is the patron segment. Oh, is it? Wait, what? Yeah, because it's the 1st of February. Yeah. No, come on, we don't do it on the 1st. Fuck you, yeah. leave it next week. We've got it ready, we've got to do it, man. Okay, okay, re- get, no, let, okay I'll do all of it. I'll quick fire all of these names. <laughs> no, no, stop no. being... Okay, go on then. 3, 2, 1, <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do a proper... Someone do it. I'm not doing it. Good afternoon, morning. This is the Patreon segment of the show where we head over to our, our lovely Patreons who help support the show and make the audio version possible, which you can find on all of your audio streaming sites. You know, um, Spotify, Podbean, <laughs> iTunes. That's all you need. <laughs> YouTube Music. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube MPV MP3 convert our cast to listen to the audio version. <laughs> well, I guess uh, yeah. This is the jar patron names for February 2024. Big thanks to Autumn, Fleeting Hope, Spoon Man, Daniel Weeks, Mome from Home, Globanaut, Intercontinental Ballistic Poofa Explosion, Fallout 4 is a better game than New, New Vegas. Ha ha ha. No, 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 James. Hard borrow the human cigarette. Rets of. Kid cannabis. Thea Thorogood. Poop nugget 4000. Benson burner. Pitts view. Dom. Frisco. Fuck it. I, <clears throat> I ate the op. Foul git. Gungan pussy making Misago bomb bag crazy. Som Barlow. Thai boy goon, I'm fresh as fuck. Bands by the box, yeah, I love them, Pezos. Jeff Bezos. Joe Viddle <laughs> is the biggest gooner. Erecting a rear Spencer here. Murdo Wallace. Alexa, play Jar Media Fart Compilation 4K HDR Dolby Digital. <clears throat> oh my god. Pebon Baby, Yoda Baby Group Baby, <laughs> James's dad. <laughs> uh. Ignis Garamus, Freddie Gibbs and Mad Libs Bar Donna, 2019. Quetzalcoatlus Northropy. Thank the Lizard Lords, James's Dada, The Hobbit and Unexpected J- Journey. <laughs> That's what it says. <laughs> Nicholas Lafitte's Estranged Son, Bogley Best, Obama Hamburger Sussy Balls Lil Mosey. Is white sussy balls. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Christ. The Camino Gimp. My name Jeff. How to change Patreon username. Big Wombo. Newly trans jarring. Barnaby's Panopticon. Somewhere there is a parallel universe where all the jar members are worms, and Worm Alex has a tiny man living in his arm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Lildred Incorporated, Saishin, <laughs> Finn Arthurs, and Vivian Reed. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> yeah! Big thank you to this Patreon list is actually the Epstein Island list. I forgot to mention <laughs> that. Anyway, continuing <laughs> with you, Tech Epstein Island. <laughs> Chocolate Fart, Scribble WA, Bonky. Splink, <laughs> Skek, Magma Slug, Levy, Pearl Slug, Dr. Deluxe, Deluxe Olo, Shibangu, Oliver Holm Jambai, Dexter McCall, Goon Chi Gooner, 
I love Barbo Bell. She is my queen. LeBron James excited for White Boy Wednesday. <laughs> Hello, friend. Sucky, sucky, num dum. <sighs> Neo Theo. Dobby the House Milf. <laughs> Zell. Simon Steele. Piss a dick versus comma c- c- comma cock Dawn of Bustis. Bow Preet Kaur. Oh Yoku. Nudie Arm, aka James's passionate bread vacation destinations. Shake It Off James's version is the greatest song to, known to mankind. Venomized Rico Dave Bryan. <laughs> Krill Muncher. <laughs> Unwashed Reptile. Manny Sanchez. Lagoon.22. Simsy. 0.6% Japanese Jarling. The worm in Alex's skin. I will never leave. I will never leave. I will never. Floor, floor master of fanboy and chum chum <laughs> fapping and clapping it's happening lapping up sla- sap that I've splat on the mat and the masculine <laughs> <laughs> Captain Clunchol Stormy supports Nagoya Grampus The Trail Wee Banana Grant Connor Jack Price Slimy Bill Goon Headshot Goon Headshot When the jar cast drops <laughs> rear like Goon Headshot <laughs> Are they cunt? <laughs> State of Alaska. Venomized Kino Loy. <laughs> <laughs> Callum J. Crick. True mighty jarling, he's going beast mode. Ganja Satellite. She chiefed in on my rig until I Ralph so all my homies think I'm a simp son. Tony. A- <laughs> Venomized Kino Loy. <laughs> what the fuck's a Kino Loy? <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you to Nietzsche. Testing, testing, wham, bam, pow. Gooby love, can you hear me now? Slems McKenzie, the original party worm, wimmy, wham, wham, wazzle. Salad 515. Oh, I'm a gooning bear, yeah, I'm a gooning bear. Oh, I'm a (laughs) yummy, tummy, cummy, stinking gooning bear. (laughs) Slam dunk cosmos. Harriet Broadley, Miniature <laughs> Ranny, Tom Berenek, <laughs> Gilbert the Awesome One. This is a public service announcement. I have rebranded from Nate's Minifigs and now I'm, I'm called Input Brick. Please edit the pup. <laughs> the, Swid- the Swindish Embassy called. They're looking for the throat goat, so I sent them after James's dad. Zim <laughs> Zam Zobble, my ziblies. <laughs> Cobalt Rad. Shower with your dad simulator 2015. <laughs> Do you still shower with your dad? Question mark. Do you see delicious? Piss drinkers unleashed. Before I hand this iPad off to you, you should know that I let piss a dick use it now. It's full of piss swish. Robert. Keck Flexington. Fart bag. Biscuit. Dream awful 2142. I saw James at a urinal and he pulled his pants down to his ankle. <laughs> Just married Jarling. Let's go. Penn Island. Danny G. James is Lord. Woodpecker from Mars. Edgy air wrecker. Milky piggy silky creamy donkey steam. <laughs> Seize property shopper sprees chop the cheese drop degrees to stop disease. G whiz pa doom rock grandma like the kumbaya. <laughs> e girl in a bebo shirt is entering her goth girl arc bear bear. Creamer Adam Johnston Tom Bowie's bring back Randy to the cast. <laughs> Crying emoji we miss him. Josh Ugbug Pugburug. Walker, Super Crunchers, Joel Stewart, When Blackbirds Fly, 2016, Big Whoops, Gremblo, JBG, Cooter Panda, Lucy Ty is an Asian anal queen, Randy Ruins Patreon, The Poo Man, James I'm going to find you then I'm going to fuck you, Cassia fucking Manigan, and last but certainly least, <laughs> David Wallace. <laughs> thank you all. Big thank you to Erectus. <laughs> <laughs> Get that shit. Yeah.